Whoa, whoa, what's up? So, I see, know y'all see the title of this video, but it's not what you think it is. I'm not saying get rid of your friends. I'm just saying let's reevaluate our friends, all right? So for me, I believe that friends are a valuable asset in our lives. And I believe there's different type of friends. There's ride or die friends, there's hangout friends, there's business friends, there's all kind of friends. I won't even go into details, but there's all kind of friends. But with all those different types of friendships, you need to establish or make sure that you know what that friendship is built on. If y'all built on business, then it's business friends. If y'all built on hanging out, then keep it to that. If, you, if it's built on ride or die, then keep it to that. But you gotta make sure that you know that the people you're spending your time with most know why they're in your life and why you're in their life. Trust me, it's gonna make your life a whole lot better. The best friends are the friends that have, you know, all of those qualities in one. But that's rare because, you know, today's time, people are a little bit different. People are a little bit weird today. Probably was back then too, so I won't just give them all the credit. But I know I'm living in this time period and it's really hard to find a friend with all those different qualities. But you gotta be careful today. You know, friends hold you back. I'm gonna be honest with you. If you're around a friend that don't want nothing in life and they're just you know, going through life without a care, without a, without a worry in the world and you know they're not successful and they're not even trying to work on being successful, don't get rid of that person because you love them, but you can't spend most of your time with them. You know, if they're doing everything they can to get better, then you help them any way that you can because that's your friend. But if they don't want to be better for themselves, then you can't waste all your energy trying your best to make them better. You gotta get new friends. You gotta get better friends, successful friends. You gotta actually go out in the world and speak to people. Say hello, you never know, that person might change your life. There's a lot of good people in this world. But my advice was, I would, I, my advice would be, don't have no expectations. You know, just be you, be your genuine self, and be 100 with that person and every person that you meet. And all that good energy that you give off, it should, it should be returned. If it's not returned, your intuition will let you know that that person need to be over in this department. That person don't need to be your ride or die. That person might be your business partner. That person might be your hangout friend but it might not be that ride or die friend that most of us seek. So just be weary and be, pay attention to every person that stepped foot in your life. Me, I had to find new friends. I still got my old friends, but I had to actually go out and meet new people because I was cool with the people that was in my surroundings. But what I realized is that people change. They say I changed when I became a pro and when I got some, some cash in my pocket, but really they changed because they stopped looking at me as Tyron and started looking at me as Tyron Johnson, the basketball player. And our relationships, you know, kind of changed. So what happened? I had to go out and find new people in this world, meet new people in this world. And that's how I run into people from all over the world, from the West Coast, East Coast, North, South. I got friends all around the world. and. I mean, all of those relationships ain't golden, but I used to only stick to a couple of people. I had a small circle. My circle's still small today, but I never would ever go out of that circle. And today, I'm glad to say that I got friends around the world that invest in me just as much as I invest in them. And I'm not talking about money, but I'm talking about time, energy, and effort. That's investing to me, and money sometimes, but I had to realize that the world was bigger than my core group of friends. I still love them, and that's still my guys, and that's still my girls. But some of them, they just cool with where they're at. And I can't be around that all the time. So our time is limited now. You gotta make new friends sometime in this world. Now we about to head to Salt Lake City, because I got an early flight in the morning. And I'm about to see one of my other homeboys. No way, I played with him this year. It's like a brother to me, it was a teammate. Now it's like a brother. New friends. So I'm in Salt Lake. We headed back to Houston tomorrow. So I came down to Salt Lake. But I just finished up the Make and Pay Skills Camp. The man that's responsible for all of my skills camp on the West Coast is this guy. <laughs> 
It's my guy, let me put the focus up on him. It's my guy, Lee Dal Tosin. I met him like three years ago. We've been friends ever since. It's like a big brother to me, been helping me out with all kinds of things, from camps to life situation. We talk about investments. We have healthy conversations. That's what I mean by you gotta get better friends. You gotta get people that invest in you just as much as you invest in them. It's a two-way street. Lee, what you think about some of your, what you think about friendship and how it should be handled? Let me put the camera on you. Hold on one second. I'm a big believer. You should always surround yourself around people that's trying to do something in life. You know, my philosophy, if you're not trying to be successful, I don't really want to be around you. And that's just my honest opinion. Because when you surround yourself around positive people, positive things happen. I'm a, uh, I graduated from the University of Wyoming in kinesiology. I teach physical education and health. I'm the head boys basketball coach. I have other investments. Um, my wife and I both were pretty successful. Um, when we decided to make a move to the Midwest, you know, we knew it was going to be good. For me personally, not going back to Louisiana was a good decision for me because uh, it got me out of my environment and it made me open my eyes to other things that was out there. Tyron and I, we met three years ago. Um, the first time I met him, I knew he was a genuine guy. Um, and we just we just hooked up and we bonded right away. Uh, and we've been going ever since. Um, this, this year at the camp, he came back. The second year, uh, we had over 120 some kids. This year, we had close to 90 kids. It's been a success. Tyron is a hard worker. Every year, the camp has just been getting better and better. The first year, we did a lot of things like on paper, and Tyron decided, hey, I can't do this anymore. And then he put everything online. It's been running smoothly. The kids love it. It was a great success this year, too. Um, I mean, he's just a, he's a great teacher, uh, motivator. Um, great friend and he's someone that I look up to that I know down the road that we're going to be doing a lot of things together. So you see, that's how I look at friendships. He giving to me and I'm giving to him. We helping each other out. If you don't got friends like that, you got to get rid of them. Let's go check out the city. Same shirt on. Don't talk about me. That's how you do when you're traveling. I just left Salt Lake, got back to Houston. And I wanted to finish this vlog up about new friends, man. Just get out and network, man. My boy Noe, he from Utah. My boy Lee, he live in Idaho, but he from Baton Rouge. I got my homeboy Tori, he in New York. My boy Cena, he in Jersey. My boy J John, he in Miami. Lamar in Baton Rouge. I got friends all over, Sula in Texas, Cope in LA, Ronnie in Miami. I got friends all over this world, man. You know, Mexican friends, uh, Asian friends, my boy Joe, Native American friend, my boy Amari, Cong Congolese friends. You know, I got friends all over this world, man, and I didn't even mention them girls and a bunch of other friends, but you gotta be open-minded and network with people. Don't be, don't be a prisoner to your environment. Make sure that you get out and meet people. Say hi, say hello. Be nice, you know, start a conversation. You never know what this person could bring in your life. Click that like button, subscribe, we out.